Dengan nama Allah yang maha murah, yang maha lagi maha kesiani akan kekal menjadi sebuah negara demokrasi yang merdeka dan yang berdolat serta berdasarkan kepada kebebasan dan keadilan dan mengekalkan keamanan di antara segala segala bangsa. Merdeka! 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 Hey, what's up you guys? Prince Man here. Assalamualaikum semua orang. How's everybody doing today? You guys dah dah tak pergi sekolah. You guys dah tak pergi kerja. Most of you guys tak leave the house at all. Stay home. Stay safe. Today punya video you guys, um, it's about kita punya, uh, I don't know if I can say, say anything. Hari ni punya video you guys, kita akan talk about kita punya beloved country. Malaysia straddles Southeast Asia's key geopolitical divide between the mainland and the archipelago. Kita punya negara yang indah dan yang paling cantik and it's so peaceful kan you guys. So most of you guys memang live and you guys stay in Malaysia okay you guys. I dilahirkan dekat sini, belajar dekat sini, aku pergi sekolah dekat sini. Today, Malaysia's substantial manufacturing center is concentrated in this core region. It's awesome. It's filled with cool people, most of them boleh cerita lah. I'm just saying. You guys, I masa belajar dulu, I tanya budak-budak Mak Saleh semua kaya guys and most of them say I love Malaysia so much. It's so beautiful. I think that is... Yeah, that's Petronas Towers right there. Tania, Wira and Wira Wati Nagara Karate Team. Apa benda tu yang tak ada kat Malaysia, you guys? It's like... Semua benda ada. We have it all. And... And... And I'm very, very thankful for that. I really want to try to explore Malaysia and learn as much as I can uh, and the fact that everyone here speaks English makes it so much easier. Hari ni punya video you guys, it's we don't see depan mata kita okay you guys. You boleh see benda ni semua. All these things you guys, ada kat dalam gambar ni semua. Kalau siapa-siapa ke yang lalu ke dekat sana you guys, they always don't know this. Malaysia ke, US ke, masing-masing ada rahsia sendiri ada dia punya kerajaan sendiri and of course dia orang akan ada dia punya own secrets they will not share with their people and i want you all to know that we are fighting the fake news it's fake phony fake ada rahsia ke okay, guys ada freemason hall that kita cuba nak pecah masuk but fail sebab kantor dengan security so it's about it's not even a house it looks like a dome Sebenarnya kalau kita tengok betul-betul, it's like a hall, mini hall. It's not even a mansion pun juga. Yeah. It's like a club. Kak, 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 rogan dekat, rogan dekat. Itu dia. It's in every country in the world. Anywhere in the world, you guys, you akan jumpa a lodge. A Freemason lodge, a Illuminati punya lodge. It doesn't matter you dekat mana. Dekat Penang, ada dekat KL, obviously. Kedah ada dekat Perlis, Pahang. Most of them, you guys, fikir macam, oh, ini semua menarut. Most people, I don't know, it's it's so hard untuk them to actually percaya. Why? Because they always read the news and they always listen to the news. Everything that the news bagi tahu kita, it's not real at all. And since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you, not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you are terrible. attacking our news organization. Your organization can you give us a chance Let's to ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state, Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you state categorically, Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you no, give I'm us a question? Give you a I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you state categorically? You are fake news. Kita cannot percaya the news. Kita tak boleh percaya semua benda tu honestly speaking macam sumpah tu don't trust the news tu everything that dia orang bagi tahu kita you guys kita akan immediately percaya why because they are kita punya only source all they know is they saw a scary video where a bunch of news anchors were saying the same thing we are extremely proud of the quality balanced journalism that ABC News 4 produces and they're just like you're one of them everything that they say you guys, you cannot actually betray you. Our negara ke you guys, ada leaders, kita ada people yang actually in charge of everything that we do in this country. Ada banyak sangat benda you guys that kita 
memang tak sedar dan kita memang tak perasan kita pun macam agak-agak tau you guys mungkin betul, mungkin tak betul we don't know tau benda ni is it real, is it true we don't know anything about all this stuff you guys kita pernah cakap about this okay you guys last year a few years ago you guys if you look at lima ringgit itu you guys it looks the same ada gambar burung yang dekat sana ada gambar burung dekat sana lepas tu macam you boleh nampak yang dia punya mulut tu apa benda tu I don't even know what it's called if you actually you guys you combine them really nampak okay, you guys it's like you can really see dekat sana you guys memang ada setan dekat sana you boleh nampak dia punya muka you boleh nampak dia punya tanduk you guys I don't know macam mana I don't know how do you explain something yang macam tu you guys in America you guys ada simbol Illuminati Salah satu yang dia punya duit ni guys Yang kalau you lipat ni guys Lipat, you lipat You lipat lagi You will see the World Trade Center On September 11, 2021 We believe that a plane Has the World Trade Center In New York That happened within the last few moments No details at this stage As to what sort of plane it is It could well be A large plane We are hearing reports of a 737 Not yet confirmed Yang Malaysia punya pula you guys, it's a bit different You combine both RM5 and you will get this image After rakan tu you guys, lepas tu they changed it Dia punya yang shape tu, lepas tu you tak nampak setan anymore Sudah rakan tu eh? So they have to change it Or else, that is what I'm trying to say okay, you guys I cuma tak sangka that in Malaysia They can do all this juga Siapa dia punya ketua you guys? Aku cuma nak tahu dia punya ketua siapa Tapi sorry Prime Minister, you look happy Can I ask you sir why you haven't resigned over personal involvement in the corruption scandal of global proportions sir? Are you going to resign Prime Minister? So beberapa minggu yang lepas you guys Lady Gaga Dia keluarkan one music video Yang dipanggil 911 Most of the people you guys Yang tengok this a video you guys it's like they don't know what is going on most things is like kita memang tak faham it's like what is she trying to say dekat kita orang in america guys you guys kalau emergency ke ke whatever you guys you can call 911 911 i would like to order a pizza you called 911 to order a pizza uh, yeah. This is the wrong number to call for a pizza. No, 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 you're not. I'm getting you now. Masih video dia nak habis, you guys. At the end, you akan nampak ada satu poster ni, you guys. Ada satu poster ni dekat sana from the movie The Colors of Pomegranate. Orang semua tahu, okay, you guys, one of those people lah, kan, you guys, yang boleh dikatakan sembah setan untuk fame. Yang tak tahu okay, you guys, pomegranate ni ada satu buah tau. Pomegranates are a great source of vitamin C which we need every single day to keep our immune system really healthy. Tapi this one kita will not talk about the fruit, kita akan talk about the movie. Lady Gaga punya music video. And you watch this movie okay you guys. Dia ambil everything from this movie. This is from the movie. And this is from the Puny music video. You can see this one okay, you guys. This is from the Puny movie and this is from the Puny music video. If you guys see the Puny movie you guys, awal-awal movie tu you guys, until the very end orang yang sembah-sembah, sembah setan, ritual-ritual ni semua you guys. I tengok itu sikit je and then I tak boleh tengok lagi dah. I tengok the movie you guys, it's old movie 1969. I watch it now. It's very very horrifying. Kalau macam ada budak kecil ni, lepas tu dia kena sacrifice kan budak kecil tu. I don't know lah you guys. I don't like that movie langsung. If you guys nak tengok, you guys can go check it out. But I tak nak tengok that movie ever. I dah ada tengok sikit je and then I say okay I'm done with this movie. I don't want to watch it ever again. Lady Gaga punya music video ni guys. Ada this guy yang muka dia macam Aquaman ke ke whatever. Ada satu part ni guys. The video, Lady Gaga dia, dia pakai baju warna merah. Most uh, people yang research apa sahaja benda-benda ni semua kan, guys all over the world cakap the same thing. Semua cakap benda yang sama. I mula-mula dengar you guys, I was like, okay lah. I don't think this make any sense. Lepas tu, it actually came to my senses that it might be true. Mungkin benda ni betul, mungkin benda ni tak betul. They say, Lady Gaga dia, dia pakai baju merah ni guys, represents 
Malaysia punya national flower. This red dress that she is wearing in this video, you guys, represents Malaysia punya hibiscus. Do you all really think, you guys, that this, this right here, actually represents kita punya Malaysian flower? Apa yang kau nampak dekat dalam movie tu you guys Itulah dia punya music video Dia tukar-tukar sikit tau you guys It's like uh, macam dia dia the custom the, the clips Little bit Is it true? Maybe I don't know Honestly lah Aku tak tahu Kalau kita don't know the way Kalau kita tak tahu nak pergi kat mana Kita akan buka kita punya GPS We have it on our phones you guys Kita boleh go anywhere in the world Google Maps ni you guys is like the always save kita it's always ni google maps ni they always help us in a lot of ways if you buka you punya google map you guys you want to see the map punya view ke ataupun you want to see the real view our government okay guys the pejabat semua yang besar-besar semua where the minister semua semua whatever you guys it's all based dekat Putrajaya office semua dekat sana everything is there and also satu bangunan Honestly, okay guys, I am not making this up. Dia orang pandai nak letak benda tu kat sana, tapi kita memang we will not see that thing langsung. Isra like kita memang takkan perasan that is right there, right in front of us. From the top view, you can see this. Kita sebagai manusia, kita memang tak boleh perasan langsung. Really have a look at it, you guys. We will see it's right there in front of us. Putrajaya International Convention Center. If you guys tengok depan atas, you guys, what do you see? The eye. The eye of Dajjal ke Mata Setan ke, you guys. Ataupun, you guys, if you guys search, you guys, the eye of horse and that's it from the very top new view and this is in Malaysia there you guys ini dekat Putrajaya it's right there you guys and if you guys say oh no itu memang macam tu how can you buat macam tu you guys akan kekal menjadi sebuah negara demokrasi yang merdeka dan yang berdolat serta berdasarkan kepada kebebasan dan keadilan dan mengekalkan keamanan di antara segala segala bangsa merdeka You guys know um, Mid Valley Mega Mall Yang kat KL tu kan If you guys look at Dia punya map you guys From the very top Right in the middle And this Is what You see Apa korang nampak you guys All you guys see is A map Mid Valley Mega Mall Right in the middle You guys Look at this Itu you guys, itu dah memang bukti Itu memang the eye of Horus Memang mata dajjal Itu memang mata setan, mata illuminati You name it, this is what they do Apa lagi rahsia? I don't know apa benda yang they are trying to hide from us you guys I just have to say satu benda you guys I don't want to sound macam Jahat ke apa, macam kurang ajar ke apa Okay Ini bendera US Ini bendera Malaysia Nak dekat sama And you know it They won't say anything Kita yang kena find out about all this stuff you guys They won't tell us anything It's about making money What makes money in this country happens to be avoiding difficult truths about our society Really? You know human beings that never lie? Of course they lie! I kadang kadang you guys I don't know how to think I tak tahu nak cakap macam mana Aku tak gila Aku bukan yang macam nak cakap pasal ke We don't know anything That guy That leader The man Siapa? This might sound macam gila juga You know macam sangat-sangat gila And then people will not believe anything here right now kita semua know that zombies a zombie not real just to be clear 
They're not real. Zombies don't exist. Zombie memang it don't exist. Aku rasa. But you can't look at a zombie and be a physician and not think to yourself they're sick. 1981. So orang perempuan ni yang bernama Sylvia Brown. Dia tulis kat sana pada tahun 2020 you guys akan ada satu virus hit the entire world. In around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and the bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself will be the fact that it will suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. Six years ago, you guys, enam tahun yang lepas, ada seorang lelaki ni, guys, nama dia Max Brooks. So, dia pergi ada ke satu comic book, you guys. The Extinction Parade, and uh, sir, congratulations, man. Thank you very You're much. out there now, you've gone beyond World War Z. Nama comic book ni, guys, is dipanggil The Extinction Parade. Zombie yang cuba nak eat uh, semua manusia but do they want to take over the world and semua now the graphic novel is one through five issues so it's the first chapter narrator she decides to jump down and kind of wander and that's when she runs into a zombie so most people semua yang fikir like any guys i'm not saying this i'm not saying this at all tapi most people actually believe that this will happen In Malaysia someday. In the comic book ni guys, it's like you boleh nampak the KLCC, you boleh nampak KL. Polis ni kena makan dengan satu zombie and you can see you guys bahasa Melayu. You can see you guys someone pakai tudung. You can see you guys on top dia cakap Petaling Street. Petaling Street, Jalan Petaling which is Kuala Lumpur, Chinatown. percaya you guys, it's like like this will happen someday all over the world. Here, dia tunjuk dekat Malaysia and how it's going to happen. I honestly fikir you guys, aku cuma fikir this is just a comic book. It's just for kita punya entertainment. I love comic books. Aku ada like so many comics. Banyak dulu dia punya readers you guys all over the world. Lelaki baca, perempuan pun baca this comic book Extinction Parade number one And diorang dah macam, oh so this is in Malaysia Okay, so now I get it Kuala Lumpur, Pales, Chinatown If you ask me, I don't think so Just to be clear, they're not real, zombies don't exist Honestly speaking, yeah, you guys, you know, Jujo lah I don't think so And at the same time juga, I don't know Apa you all think? Guys, that's it for today. Okay, you guys. Very, very, very weird. Punya video tu hari ni. Whether it's real or not, but it's out there. Yang comic book tu, I don't think so. If you guys like video, yang macam ni lagi, you guys, please hit like on this video. Please subscribe to this channel, you guys. Kalau korang belum subscribe, ring that bell, you guys, so you guys will know bila kita dah ada a brand new one on this channel. I akan buat vlogs. If you guys now watch my vlogs go subscribe to get mid the link is below and i will see you guys there i want you guys to duduk kat rumah tak payahlah keluar sangat doh apa yang ada kat luar you know you don't have to go out you know what i mean just be safe at home i want you guys to be safe and just be healthy love you all so much you guys assalamualaikum and i see you guys in a few days i will see you guys dekat mid peace i love you